Hey, what's up? Just Nick WBLS, and you're officially plugged in. Sitting with me today are three very talented ladies. They go by the name of the Shindellas. Thank y'all. Welcome. <laughs> hey. First of all, y'all are giving Barbie right now. Hey, I love Barbie. the outfit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a very unique style. First, let me just say that you all can harmonize like nobody's business. So I need to know from the beginning, how did y'all meet? Are y'all related, friends? Tell me the tea. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, we're like sisters now. Yeah. We uh, were brought together six years ago by a production duo. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Harmony and Claude Kelly. Amazing, amazing songwriting team and production team. They're just great. They've worked with everybody from like Whitney Houston. Oop, to you can stop right there. That's all you had to say. There we go. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Riri, Riri right. just Jasmine wow. Sullivan, everybody. And mm -hmm. such amazing vocalists. But they were still feeling like they wanted to uh, come outside of a box, um, especially like R&B box. And so they created this this space, uh, their label, Where to Workshop, um, where they can create freely. They became a band, Lewis York. Uh, shout out to Lewis York. They're amazing. Um, and then they had this idea of a girl group a like kind of sister group to what they had as Lewis mm. York um, just creating freely what happens when you don't have a box what what can you create and the Shandellas was their idea they came to me first that was in 2015 I just knew I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself I knew I didn't know it was a girl group at the time but now it makes so much sense because it, I just knew it wasn't going to just be me. That's all I knew. I was like, mm -hmm. I know I want to sing. I want to perform. But it needs to be It's just bigger than just myself. I've been a solo artist, and it was there was some more to it. So we started a search. They told me about it. Two years of no's and wrong people. Wow. And searching and praying and crying and visioning to the point where I had a vision board. And I had their faces on the board mm -hmm. what you know I had them and I would pray and vision and draw I'm a sketcher so I would draw out our outfits <laughs> post styles. yes wow. um, magazines cut out the Supremes were up there yeah. you know? I love it first of all I love vision boards mm -hmm. like I literally drew my house my first house that I bought in the south and it looked exactly like That's it. So amazing. shout yes. out to you with that manifestation. Yes, yes. it's Come so on. real. It came so mm -hmm. two years later. Uh, Tam, tell yeah. your story. Oh, well, okay, so <laughs> Claude Kelly found me online via Instagram. I had been posting clips of myself singing, and Odyssey went viral. And so I think it was his Explore page, or when wow. he followed somebody in common, and he found the video, DM'd me, and was like, hey, uh, me and my business partner, Chuck Harmony, are working on something special. We'd love for you to be a part. So um, we had a conference call, and then they flew me out to Nashville. I met the team. I got to see the incredible creative space that they created down there. Um, and I fell in love with the vision and the mission and just all of it. And of course, Stace, because she was the first one that yeah. I met. Um, and me and Casey hadn't met yet, but I let her. Oh yeah, boy. I was going to say, I'll let her tell you that part. But yeah, it was but literally oh like, oh it was meant to be, honestly. Yeah. And Chuck Harmony, I had met Chuck at a networking event in L.A. for songwriting. And we stayed in touch online for years. And I was actually, I had released an EP as a solo artist and was touring in Tokyo. Wow. And he reached out to me and was like, what are you doing? Like, how are you doing this? What are you doing? I was like, this is what I'm doing. Trying to find my sound, trying to figure out who I am. And he was like, how would you like to do that in a girl band? And I was like, say more. <laughs> you know? Right? So they flew me out to Nashville and I met Stace. Mm -hmm. And we drove around Nashville. She had just moved there. And they sent her to the airport, like, show her around. Right. And she was like, I just got here. I knew, so like, two uh, thrift vintage stores. Vintage. And they were fire, That's though. That's what we did, thrifting and brunch. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then we went and found the best place to look at the moon because there was a super moon that night. And uh -oh. that's when I kind of knew, like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we were in the studio listening to music. And I had, like, one of those God moments where it was like, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Yeah. This oh, is the answer that. to the question you didn't know you were asking kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, at the time I was in Vegas doing a musical. So I had to finish the contract. Then I packed up my 17? suitcases, yep. stacked all my hats on my head and got on the tr the plane to... Yeah. 2017, 2017 April. Yeah, April 2017. Yeah. So um, first of all, I'm going to just let y'all say your signs each and then I'll tell you what I oh, thought. Oh, oh. I'm a Beyonce, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, I'm a Ree. <laughs> I'm a Pisces yes. with an Aries moon okay. and a Pisces rising. Okay. She's you. like, I'll give you the whole oh, rundown. I'm fire and water. water. <laughs> but 
I'm a Taurus. Yeah, right when right. I tell you that those three signs gel so much, yeah, I'm just right. like, oh yeah, this is fate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is fate because yeah, just and that's hard to be in a girl group with people you don't know and then try to build this relationship and this bond. But it makes it so much better when it's like, oh, this is my tribe. Yeah, like I already know this is my tribe. So is that how y'all feel? Yeah. yeah. I mean, when we first came together, I think one of the things that really bonded us was. We got soul naked is what we call it. We got soul mm-hmm. naked with each other. We locked ourselves in the hot wiggle, which is like a, a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's what it's, that's what it's cool. like. It's our, it's the garage the that space. she basically yeah. flipped into our rehearsal space. Yes. Florida mirror. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And when we first came together, we did a lot of meditating. We got honest about mm-hmm. what we really wanted and about our vision and our mission for the mm-hmm. Shindellas. And that's what really bonded us together. And then 2020 happened. And that's when we got even deeper. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? Got real. Yeah, I got super real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were like, do we, all of our gigs are canceled. All of our income is gone. Mm-hmm. Right. Do we, what do we do? Yeah. Like, do we still want to, if this is what it continues to be for the unforeseeable future, do we still want to do it? Mm-hmm. And we were all like, yeah. Yeah, let's just do what an else? album. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's do an album. What we did in 2020 let's was record the whole album. Yes. Mm-hmm. So did y'all have like any vulnerable spaces where you have had to cry it out? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've had uh, times where, like when Kay said, we, were, we boot camped. Yeah. And there would be some times where we'd just come in and you could just feel somebody's energy. Mm-hmm. And heaviness. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. so it is heavy, isn't it? Put mm-hmm. on, I remember this time we put on Mighton. What is that song? Um, the River is My Teacher. It's just a really beautiful meditation song. Oh, yeah. Song. Yeah. Just for, put it on loop for like a long time. Just cry. Literally just yeah. like, cry. Yeah. with each yeah. other in some tears. And then we could like pray, hold hands, yeah. and push through to the next moment. You I know? love yeah. that. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your singing because you, first oh of all, gosh. you have a very unique style. Mm-hmm. So when you hear the Shindellas, you think. 70s, mm-hmm. 80s. Is that the vibe? Like, and do you are you trying to bring it back and just give it a newness in 2023? I think, Absolutely. yeah, I yeah. think we're we're honoring the old, but still pushing the needle and moving the needle mm-hmm. forward. Um, we call it New American Soul, mm-hmm. and so we we pull from everything. It's everything you've ever heard and everything you've never heard is what we mm-hmm. say. So it's like yes. it's all the things. We're the sum of all of our influences. I mean, we have a Mount Rushmore of girl groups: the Supremes, the 50s, Andrews Sisters, yeah. the Clark yes. Sisters. I mean, literally yeah. everybody, the and, then, sisters. and the Pointer Sisters, and then of course, you know, the honorable mentions: SWV, yes, Bo, LaBelle, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're pulling from all of it, and that's where we get it from. You can totally everybody. hear it. It's a nice mesh, but it also mm-hmm. has your own individual uniqueness because yeah. it just. When I hear it, it makes me want to party, but it makes me want to bring out the bell bottoms too. Yes. <laughs> I want to go skating right I'm now and yes. get my jig on. Yes. That's so dope. That's so dope. Okay, so this is your sophomore album, right? Yeah. This is yes. getting ready to come out. Mm-hmm. What have you learned from the first album oh that you've applied to the second one? Mm. So much. Uh, so much. Um, from the recording process, we've just learned to how to show up to the studio. Mm-hmm. That was a big lesson for us because I mean, it just takes time to learn um, how to be creative with somebody and mm-hmm. how to actually like fulfill yourself as you're being creative while working with somebody else. It's a different dynamic when it's the three of us and then uh, working with Chuck and Claude as the producer and songwriter and vocal producer. That's a whole nother dynamic and a whole nother influence. Um, so just learning yourself and how to step into the room and fully yeah. um, be present and give to the, each art, uh, you know, each song is was a lesson so we definitely came to this album like ready mm-hmm. yeah and uh, yeah. learning to ask for what we want too. yeah mm-hmm. learning to say we all are songwriters mm-hmm. and on our first I mean we're working with Claude Kelly and Chuck Harmony who can write they're masters they're they're <laughs> geniuses yeah. and so to be able to just put on your big girl pants and be like I know you guys are the best in the world and they're legends and like we that. love you <laughs> But we're ready. Mm-hmm. We're ready to write. So on this album, we co-wrote four songs, right? Mm-hmm. Plus Barbecues and Body Rolls, which isn't actually on the album. But yeah. um, so that was a big thing, like coming in and like giving more of our authentic voices and more of our personal story sharing mm-hmm. a little more. Mm-hmm. That's what I was yeah. wondering, because if you all are songwriters, like, do you have that freedom to write your own songs and does it make the cut? 
Mm-hmm. See, we yes. did a lot of co-writing. Yeah. yeah. And we take we would take ideas to the guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and they just kind of expound on them. And then we like, it's like workshopping, literally workshopping right. mm-hmm. a song. We It starts around the piano. Chuck and Claude will play an idea. And then we'll be like, hmm, okay, what would, what, what would we say right yeah, here? Yeah, what, like, what would sound good it? right here? So the co-writing process was definitely one that was fun for So us. fun. And a great learning experience. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I saw you guys recently performed on the Today Show. <gasps> yes. Congratulations. Yes. Thank that you. Okay. Yes. So uh, how does that feel? And what are other performances <laughs> that you did that was kind of like, oh, my God, this is it's happening. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That felt so like amazing. It feels great. Yeah. Uh, it never lasts long enough. I was yes. Say, it always seems like it goes by <laughs> Over so, so fast. fast. We did the Black Music Honors. Yes, that was incredible. Yes, and we tributed the Evelyn Champagne King. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and literally got to see and love on all of our favorites, like Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott. There in the audience. And like we got to hug her. Tina Campbell. Yes. Tina Campbell. Like all of the greats. Like we literally, we were right where we were supposed to be, is what it felt like. But that was another Shindo moment. That was a Shindo moment. (laughs) And our red carpet outfits at that were so fire, too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, you come out, people don't really forget. know who you I'm are at first, first, and then you election. walk out in these outfits, and everyone's like, wait, who are them? Wait, mm-hmm. who is that? The wait, Shane can Dallas. I? You're like, we're here, and we look good. Yes. <laughs> so you've been around a lot of celebrities that yeah. you look up to. Has anyone ever came up to you and was like, oh, we love that was like, oh, my yeah. God, I'm Should meeting. Toot our own horn. Toot, toot, toot baby. Toot. We got a toot. Oh. So, Anita Baker. <laughs> was that the toot? That was traffic. <laughs> Let's start with Anita Baker. We got to start with Anita. Because hello, yes, she, Anita. It's Anita Baker. First of all, she so loves our single. Last night was good yes. for my soul. And she's very opinionated. So she if she is. says she likes you, that's a big she deal. It. We posted Well, so... Gosh, I feel like we should go back because the very first song she posted was Money from her yes. debut album. Yeah. She, she posted reposted money. that on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then when she fast forward, she heard Last Night Was Good For My Soul. Yes, I love that song. And literally did multiple tweets about it. She was like, y'all, this is my jam. I mean, like, we were like, She posted the dance. It was like, go learn. The, the, we have a step. A shinny it's step. A shinny step. <laughs> okay. She we was like, y'all need to go learn this step. It was I, really, like, I literally thought I was being punk. Yeah, I thought I was <laughs> hallucinating. You go to your comment, you go to your actual mentions, and you see Anita, the Anita Baker, and you're like and trying you're to like, figure out if it's fake or somebody just somebody lying. Somebody's yeah. lying. Somebody gonna be lying? No, but it's oh my gosh. Yeah, we've had so many moments like that. Um, Taj. Yeah, yeah. SWV, SWV sent us a fire video for our debut oh, album wow. drop, just like pouring into us and encouraging us. Yeah. Yes, both Missy. The, yeah, Missy. I was gonna say Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliott and both the Campbells, Mary Mary. Yes. yes. Oh, I mean, like, Listen. and one Virgo queen, and a Virgo queen Beyonce. Sources um, say sources she say. was uh, working Rumor on Renaissance it. and was inspired by Dua Lipa and the Shindellas. The positivity of the this po- new music. From, yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. I know, right. A, that, a source I said. Still, I personally, I'm like. It was until in the she sun. Says that to my face. Yeah. yeah. Can you make it real for Can the you TV please? Game? Until she says that to my Hi. face, and when we looking right here. Hi. <laughs> I know. I'm like. I, need you I want you to know. <laughs> I see you. I love you. Because we what? Her. We're here. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, what's your dream collaboration? Mm. Oh my god, that so would be many. amazing. Missy, Missy Elliott. Yeah. Missy. Mm-hmm. For sure. That is a dream. That's a dream. Um, Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. Anderson Pass. I mean, we're in line with that one. Music, so you might yeah. Be the, it is oh my gosh. Like, oh my god. And he loves yes. the Pisces. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> so, uh, again, I love the dynamic between you all. So, I noticed that you guys do affirmations. Yeah. Um, and I do that on my show <gasps> every day because it's something it. I try to practice and then I just share with everybody. So what's an affirmation that you can share with the mm-hmm. listeners right oh, now? This is Ooh. the one we created together when we first came yeah. together to get through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is, you, you are, allowed are allowed to be yourself, yourself without fear. Yeah. Or you can affirm it. Yeah. I am allowed to be myself without fear. Mm-hmm. I move I'm fearlessly like through this life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you get stage fright? Heck yes. Sometimes. Severely for me. It used to be. I've actually, these two have been so instrumental in me being able to step outside of that space. But I had severe performance anxiety for years and didn't even know. Because, you know, it, it, be honest, in the black community, yeah. we kind of don't really, you know, talk about like mental thing, or mental health or that much. And so now it's being more and more talked about. And I started researching and I was like, 
I literally have been struggling with this since I was seven years old mm-hmm. and had no idea. Wow. No idea. So, yeah, this Does is the give you comfort to know that other people go through that as oh, well. Oh, though? absolutely. Mm-hmm. Some of my favorites, like they talked about Prince battling with it, mm-hmm. Andre 3000 battled with Barbara it. Barbara Streisand. Yeah. Like it literally would restrict and constrict their vocal cords. And I battled with that. And I was like, what is going on? And once I did the research, I was like, wow. And yet you would still sound <laughs> <laughs> like Tam Bam Alakazam. Like, yeah, can sing like crazy. the best of them can. Right. Man. Like, That's that crazy. fight or flight coming through. That's exactly what it is. You know just how much you can achieve when yeah. you just yeah. tackle that fear. I yeah. love it so much. Yeah, I think I have like the least amount, but like, uh, <laughs> I just like, go in like, it. I get butterflies, yeah, but then it just it. turns into like mm-hmm. energy, you know, mm-hmm. and I just I love, that. love that feeling of being on stage. Put me in front of a camera. Like <laughs> since I was like 10, I just wanted to be in front of a camera. So it does. I don't get scared. I just get so excited. Absolutely. More energy. So what do you want to say about this new project that's going to come out? Oh, my gosh. Gird your loins. <laughs> get ready. Yes, get ready. <laughs> Pre-save it. Pre-order the vinyl. Yeah. yeah. We got you oh, there's just vinyl. You have copy. to have vinyl. Yes. I love that. I have, like, three vinyl players yes. now. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's available this on mishandellas.com. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds so good. We got to, like, get so a little good. tester. Mm-hmm. It's right. It's, it's right. on CD, too. Mm-hmm. But you can pre-order and pre-save it on all digital media. So mm-hmm. go get it. Go get, go get it. it. The harmony is real. Okay. Matter of <laughs> fact, can we get a little harmony? Can we? Yes. Yes. What we singing? Yes. What we singing? Last singing? night? Or last nighter? What we singing? Last night was good for my soul. Oh, oh, oh. I jumped the boogie, the drinks, and me good. We left it all on the floor. And I just can't believe it. It felt so relieving to take time and let it go. You see life so much better when we're together. I still feel the afterglow. Last night was good for my soul. Where did the time go? <laughs> Y'all better sing <laughs> that. Yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 yeah. okay? <laughs> Harmony, we missed y'all. Aww. Listen, because RMV, at one point they were saying it was dead. Mm. Obviously, it is alive. Okay, so let's play a quick game, all right? It's called Most Likely. I'm going to ask you a question, and if it applies to you, then just say your name or raise your hand. If it doesn't apply to you, you know, you can say the other person's name or point to them. All right. So first question, who's most likely to forget a birthday? No, I, would no. say, I would say me. I don't know, um, Stace. You guys, you guys reminded me of my birthday. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like your birthday is coming. But that's, like, that's crazy because she always shows up with cake. Yeah. yeah that's true. Stace always brings yeah. cake, so I don't know. I don't know. That, that's, that's tough. A hard one. Celebration. Yeah. Who's most likely to end up on Broadway? Casey. <laughs> My degree is in musical theater. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Okay. That's Who's amazing. most likely to marry a celebrity? Tam. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what? Definitely. Why me? Uh, we're also not married, married yet. I'm and, not, uh, but you know, but you already I mean, know. Well, you love, yeah. you love hard. I mean, Babe is a celebrity in my He's eyes, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to have children first? Stacy. Stacy. Uh, Probably Definitely. Probably I'm ready. I want some kids. <laughs> yeah. I want babies, you know? So How many would you what? I have five, four sisters. So okay. five. I like that number. It was a fun five? house. I would also do like three. Mm-hmm. Four is a good three number. Three is a nice number. Two is also. they're expensive. What's wrong Very with nice. four? Nothing wrong with four. four. I Let mean, me if you have four, four, you might as well have five and just finish off. It's two and a A handful. Okay. Nice, yeah. nice starting lineup. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that works. Would you turn them into a group too? No, 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 no. no. They'd be working though for sure. Mm-hmm. My family's Jamaican. We'd probably all they'd all have like three jobs at least. I love it. I can see why though. Yeah. I love how Jamaicans just the family ties. Mm-hmm. It's such a big deal. Mm-hmm. So I love that. Mm-hmm. Who's most likely to be the first one at the mic during karaoke? Oh, oh I was like, yeah, maybe me or yeah, me or you, yeah, probably together, ACs together, yeah, yeah. Okay, who's most likely to be late? Oh. Tam, yeah, <laughs> I will gladly wear that badge. But, but she surprises you sometimes, and she'll show up like oh. early, and you'll be like, "Wow, yeah, yeah. you okay?" Yeah, <laughs> she's like, "You okay?" <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to the lovely ladies, the Shindellas. Make sure you check out their music. You are officially plugged in. It's WVLS.